<laughs> what, what's the saying? I, don't, I have better, no idea. It's better to better Kurt Cobain to, said it before he shot him in, himself in the head. Better to burn out than to fade away, or something like that. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> burn out or fade away? All right, hold on. Oh, let's play this music. Ready? Ready. Yeah, we're fucking professional. Hold on. Yeah, I was fast asleep. He set my soul free when he awakened me. All right. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. That's, that's got me in the mood, man. I'm ready to fuck. Yeah, I was going to say the mood to fuck. <laughs> I don't I don't think that uh so that that this this lady's name is Hustle God. Um I don't think this is music to fuck to. It's not. Any music is music to fuck to. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a fuck to cannibal corpse. It's fucking hot. Um <laughs> No, <laughs> my no, my my fucking headphones are too loud. Ah. All right, um, yeah. So this is Hustle God. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. All right. So, <laughs> uh, her manager reached out and asked if we would be willing to feature her and and maybe speak a little bit about her book. Um, it's weird. Apparently, the book came out. The book dropped on 9/11. That it just seemed an odd way to say it. I don't know why. What? <laughs> what, what year? I don't, I don't know if that matters. <laughs> I mean, if it was 1987, it does. <laughs> <What> yeah, not, <laughs> you, I, you, you should never say anything dropped on 9 11, ever. Ever. Even, <laughs> even before. <laughs> even before 9 11. Um, anyway, so we had a little bit of a back and forth, and, and I want to, I want to read. Typically, what I try to do is I get some information from whoever and say, you know, if there's anything you want me to talk about. And and this was the response I got, and I found it very interesting. All right. It says, uh, she has a book, Become a Powerful Creator, and an album, Awakened Me. She is also a modern-day shaman and speaks of highly esoteric things in her motivational speaking of her website. Um. And then it goes on about her YouTube channel um, and her website, official hustlegod.com <laughs> and her YouTube channel is Hustle God and all that. But so I, I, I looked up shaman. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. What's a shaman? <laughs> that's I hilarious. think she's a fucking wizard. You think? I, Skinny I think wizard? So. <laughs> <sighs> is it going to be one of them shows, man? Yeah. Well, Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. All right, see you later. <laughs> I, I went through too much fucking trouble tonight for 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 a skinny you, wizard joke. Yes. <laughs> so we're we're sitting here making light of this, uh-huh. and she can fucking fuck up our juju, man. What? Okay, you're gonna have to look that one up too. <laughs> I don't know what juju is. <laughs> Why would it's I have those to candies, look it up? Right? <laughs> do you know? Do you know what it means? Yes. All right, tell me. Your mojo. All right, look that one up. <laughs> Juju. Uh, wait, Mojo just says Austin Powers. <laughs> All right, yeah. Juju, that's like uh, your your spirit, your aura, your... Yeah, she can fuck it up, man. She's a goddamn wizard. <laughs> anyway, everybody should buy this, and nobody should ever uh, not buy it. Or something. <laughs> nobody, nobody should not buy it. So... D- oh. Modern day shaman. I didn't think that that was a thing. Like, is she is she from America? America? Oh, she black. Hold on. <laughs> All right. You you can be from America and be black, right? As far as I know. <laughs> shaman. A uh, person regarded as having access to and an influence in the world of good and evil spirits, especially among some peoples of Northern Asia and North America. Okay, so it's possible she could be a shaman and be from North America. Uh, Typical. North America is also Mexico, right? And Canada. Yeah, they don't count. They don't, they don't Typically, count. such people enter a trance state during a ritual and practice divination and healing. All right. So if she's only a healer, then we're good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you you said wizard. That didn't say you. You put that word in there. <laughs> Does she have a long beard too? <laughs> um, so, the, the, 
those two things don't really go together. Like the music that you played and like she's a new age healer shaman. Like that's just. Hold on. What do you mean they don't go together? It's it's either music to fuck to or music to heal to. <laughs> so both. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's a, that's a touchy God. subject. What bump and grind? R. Kelly in general, right? Why? Uh, oh. We should maybe we should have put that on the board. <laughs> you didn't hear about the fucking R. Kelly documentary? He did a P taper a while back with like an eleven year old or something, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! All Wait, right. Oh so, fuck! Hold on. You know, oh, son of a bitch. All right, go ahead. Can I transition out of this before we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spiral yeah. out of control. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, thank you, Hustle God. At the end of the show, we'll play a, you know, play a full song. Um. Oh, bye. All right. <laughs> you said bye. <laughs> like, like she can hear you. <laughs> the song that you're playing it can hear you. All right, so you had said something about R. Kelly or something? No, I don't care about that. So we were supposed to uh, watch a documentary and talk about it, and uh, I'm assuming you didn't. You're right. Why? It could have been interesting. (laughs) Yeah, we'll do it next week. No, we won't. (laughs) So it's funny because I I walked in the house from work Monday night, Yeah, and that show was on. What was what? Was, it was. Yeah, it don't matter what it it's was. called. Alt right, the age of rage or AIDS of raids or something. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I did. I did watch that. <laughs> AIDS raiders. <laughs> the AIDS raiders. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the fuck was I saying? Um, yeah. So I got I got home from work and uh, my wife was watching that. Oh, alt right thing. Yeah. And I was like, hey, uh, I wouldn't mind watching that. Uh, we started over something. And then I watched uh, uh, Vampire Diaries. <laughs> <sighs> awesome. At least you're spending your time wisely. <clears throat> Oh yeah, so, okay. Bob, so, Bob's Burgers. So, so you didn't. We're talking about you here, all right? So, so you didn't watch it? No. Let me let me sum it up for you. Um, everybody's a Nazi, and Nazis are bad. There you go. All right. Well, enough of that. Um, let's see here. You know, we we got some big fucking news. Yeah. Uh. So we got yet another patron on our Patreon. Yeah. I want this is worthy of and it's only going to be worthy to one fucking person. Worthy this is worthy of three a people because it's worthy to me. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I, I said this is worthy of a drum roll. Oh, I didn't hear that. I, I got nothing. <laughs> How's that drum roll? <laughs> I don't know how to do a drum roll. Fuck, you're a child. You're a goddamn man child. Oh, um, yeah. So Deuce from uh, what the uh, podcast formerly known as Brand X uh, was nice enough to donate $10 yeah. a month. Now, the beauty of that is twofold. It's threefold. <laughs> The, the first fold is that I, <laughs> I that I get five dollars a month. Uh-huh. The, the second fold <laughs> is that you get five dollars a month. Uh huh. The third fold is that he is ten times the fan of John. <laughs> I I thought you were going somewhere else with that. I thought you were gonna use that whole fold thing and said the third fold has to do with John. The third fold isn't John. Um. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know, here's what I found out about about recording with you. All right. I will like you'll say something, mm-hmm. and it just distracts me when I'm talking, and I'm like, "Why the fuck is he saying that?" And then when I listen back to the episode, I laugh. 
So <laughs> <laughs> I, I know why you say it later. Uh-huh. I just don't know why you say it now. Uh, so that you'll hear it later, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know uh, why I say it now either, I guess. <laughs> but it, it, with, I am just happy that, <laughs> that Deuce decided to man up. Not man up. That, that seemed wrong. Uh, <laughs> put his money where his mo- Nope. Um, uh, I'm just happy that he donated 10 times more month than job. Yeah, that's and the not most only that, important part. And not only that, I trust that Deuce will not give away the episodes for free. Oh, fuck yeah. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. All right. Oh. Speaking of uh, John and his folds or whatever, three folds. Um, so they covered a story on their last episode that we had already covered and we had already debunked. We did all of the hard work of debunking this story, and then they come back with this story and pretend like it's still true. Fucking bullshit. There's got to be like a uh, podcast lawyer we can get a hold of. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think that's the case. And not only that, I'm not worried about it. Fuck uh, off. I'm worried about it. There's like 14,000 podcasts and 18 stories to cover. Right. You're going to have some crossover. Yeah. We already debunked it. Our biggest, John says he's our biggest fan. That's came coming from his mouth. I'm your biggest fan. And then that bullshit. All right. So anyway, thank you, Deuce. Um, yeah. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess before we start plowing through these fucking stories so we can shut this off. <laughs> anything happen this week? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, hey, I just don't want level you to sound good? too excited. Are my levels still good? Yeah. All right. Well, well you, keep, you seem to be talking over me and shit. No, I'm just, I don't want to hear you. <laughs> so, so I just talk. No, okay, then. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, caller. Go ahead, caller. <clears throat> uh, did we put these in any kind of order? <laughs> no. Awesome. <laughs> that's that's yeah. the best part <laughs> all right um we're gonna do this confederate flag thing that i've seen all right uh so uh the setup is because it's a it's a video okay the setup is this news reporter is interviewing <laughs> uh she's interviewing this couple and the couple has about i don't know a dozen mannequins and dolls and shit with these huge afros and they're all black the dolls are put into blackface they're all over this people's porch (laughs) okay (laughs) all right and there's confederate flags everywhere and the reporter is saying you know this this comes off as racist okay and (laughs) Uh, the, the the reason why I wanted to play this is the, the explanation that they give as to why it's not racist. Oh, so they're actually talking to the people that own this shit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> where, where is this at? Do you know? Uh, if you listen to it, you're going to assume it was from North Carolina. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. You know what? Maybe it was. Fuck, yeah. I don't know. All right. All I'm right, going to go play ahead. it. Yeah, Here go ahead. Racist or not? No way, shape, or form should anybody think it is racist. You be the judge. A black mannequin with painted lips, these figures with wigs strapped to the porch, and multiple Confederate flags of all sizes sit outside this home in the 2000 block of State Route 132. What would you say to someone who's driving by this and says that family hates black people? I would say, you know, everybody hates everybody, you know. It just depends on what you hate, you know, what you like. Louis Jones Jr. lives here with his father. He and his friend Tammy spoke to us about the display, saying it's been up for years. They went up, a few of them at one time, and then a couple more were added, but the flags have always flown. That's for our country. We ain't got nothing to do with race. We ain't racial. Jones tells me he's proud to fly the Confederate flag. 
The rebel flag, it, it's the not. Flag. Yeah, it's not racist. It's for the war that we won, you know. <laughs> what? Which war? Civil <laughs> war. And, and we is in the south or the north? We north is north. in the north. <laughs> what? That flag is the wrong thing to fly. Um, in north? some people's eyes. Right, what you so he, <laughs> they're they're flying the flag because of the war they won. Uh huh. <laughs> sounds right. Sounds about right. <laughs> What is this so real? It, <laughs> is, this, like, is this a skit? <laughs> um, if you, yeah, all right. So, okay, I'm gonna say it, even though I don't mean it. I'll post a video on uh, our website. <laughs> all right, maybe I'll tweet a picture of it or something. But it's yeah, it's funny. <clears throat> I don't know the war we won. <laughs> the the ladies in the background correcting everything he says. He's the, the rebel flag. You mean the the Confederate flag? <laughs> <laughs> so they never like okay, that's fine, whatever. But they never reference these mannequins with fucking painted lips. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's it, it's black. These mannequins are painted black with huge afros holding uh, the Confederate flag. <laughs> so. <laughs> No, no, it's not racist. We we love the flag. No, no, I'm talking about the mannequins, man. Come on. <laughs> but what what I don't understand is, you know, okay, there, I I don't know what the background is on this. When I I do know that it's it's no longer, I don't know, it's no longer kosher to have the little black lawn jockeys anymore. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. It, I mean, it used to be. I, I guess it used to be okay to have them. I, I don't know. I, I, I've never owned any. I've never owned any black people. I don't know <laughs> what's acceptable, and what's not. Yeah, Pretty sure on. you're just not allowed to own black people or I'm gonna, or anything. I'm look, you know, what are you gonna, gonna look, look up? up? Can you own lawn jockeys? <laughs> Little black lawn, lawn jockeys. <laughs> I wish I could see your search history. <laughs> <laughs> um. So is lawn. Is lawn jockey? Is that is it always some a little black person with like like overalls or whatever? Like the yeah yeah I, I that's what I think of, but I don't know if that's like all it is. Where did it come? I, I don't even I don't even know it. the history of it. I just I mean. Well, you know what? We're gonna fucking find out. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, hold on. Um, Confederate flag. Lawn jockey. <laughs> Let's see where this <laughs> fucking show's going. Oh, boy. All right. A lawn jockey is a small statue of a man in jockey clothes intended to be placed in front yards as hitching posts, similar to those of footmen bearing lanterns near entrances and gnomes in gardens. Hitching posts for what? Nobody rides fucking horses anymore. You need to tie your horse up to a little black fella? <laughs> if I'm, Half scale. If oh. I had to choose, I wouldn't choose a little one. I, get, I don't want my horse going Historically, we're, black jockeys were commonplace. It doesn't say why, though. Why would you want a little black jockey on your Jocko? The earlier Jocko design usually depicts the right arm raised in a stylish, cartoonish young black boy, often with exaggerated features such as big eyes with the whites painted in, large lips painted red, a large flat nose, and curly hair. Typically, these pieces were painted in gaudy colors for the uniform with within the flesh of the statue a gloss black. These statues have been, okay, as of the 20th century, that means this just this just in, <laughs> this just these, statues, these statues have been considered racist and many remaining samples have now been repainted using pink paint for the skin while the original sculptor's exaggerated features remain so they look like albino <laughs> albino <laughs> black people wow huh. see uh, uh, I don't I don't fucking get this man I can't keep up with it That that's uh, how you can say as of the 20th century, it was racist. Yeah, so, that's what I don't understand either. I, I'm not trying to defend any anything. Don't be racist. That's fine. But like, how you just change the rules whenever you want? Yeah, I, I guess. All right. So here, I'm going to send you some things to read. Um, instead of trying to just on the fly get you over to the story. Uh-huh. Um. Now I can't find our chat tab here, <laughs> so it might have been easier. All right. Hold on. Where are we at? Isn't there a chat window? Chat. There we there go. There we go. All right. You're not in here. 
<laughs> just Hello. type. I mean, I'm the only one in here. <laughs> no, there's there's no place for me to type. Oh. Just type. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, try this one. God damn it! We... <laughs> okay, there, there you are. Chat, try here. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, here. This is from Wikipedia about the lawn jockey. All right, you read for a bit. Whoa. Okay. A black lawn jockey plays a symbolic role as well as providing the story's title in the protagonist's southern vernacular. What in Flannery oh, Flannery O'Connor's short story? Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> huh? In in Flannery O'Connor's short story, with a really bad title, a lawn jockey comes to life in the climactic. All right, I don't care about the rest of this shit. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> Just reading along and. <laughs> Uh, so what I found is that your read ahead is three words. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> is that good or bad? What's what uh, standard? I would say that's probably mildly autistic. All right. <laughs> good. <laughs> I was going for uh, mildly. <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to figure out a way to <laughs> say the name of the short story, but um... I don't think I can. Let's just assume there's a racial slur in there somewhere and move on. Yep. Yep. All right. Um, So I don't know how we started talking about lawn jockeys, but (laughs) I'd be willing to bet even if we traced it back, we couldn't figure it out. (laughs) Didn't we ask somebody to trace? Okay. (sighs) That's fine. Whoever you are that's listening, (laughs) you're not going to do it on this episode. I understand. But if you could please draw a diagram on how we get from one thing to another, <laughs> send it to us. It would really help with the show notes. So if we put, if me and you put together a list of every time we've asked anybody to do anything and they've never done it, we would have a short list. Which, <laughs> which, <laughs> that was stupid. which list, which <laughs> list would be longer? The amount of things that we said we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll put this list on the website and let the people find out. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know what? I might just fuck it. I'll do it. I'll go back and listen to my episodes <laughs> and I'm going to trace this shit out. Are you? Pity Van Diagram or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right. Confederate flag. Check. Mm-hmm. Deuce. Check. <laughs> check. Um, <laughs> You're hearing the behind the scenes stuff right now. Uh, racial humor check. <laughs> check is that really required it seems to be <sighs> it's because of that war we won <laughs> is that right <laughs> wait a minute now that really sounded bad yeah. <laughs> it kind of did because we because we did win yeah, I, was but, gonna say, but... we did. I mean we didn't I didn't fight anything all right, right now, war breaks out. Yep. Um, it's not North versus, versus South. It's us versus them. Uh, us, who, being, who, us being. That's what I'm going to ask you. <laughs> us versus them. Who are you? Whose side are you on? I'm on. I'm on their side. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't. <laughs> if you can't say who us is and who them is, I'm definitely on their side. <laughs> No, I'm I'm asking you. This this is not related to black and white. I'm I'm asking you if when the war breaks out, this, the new civil war yeah. that's coming. Yeah. Which side are you on? Okay, so it, it's not going to be north versus south, no, right? No. Is it going to be red versus blue? <laughs> I, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, maybe I guess. No, I don't think so. Well, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. It sounds like you don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I. I mean, the more I think about it, the more I think the the lines are not, you know, red, blue. You know. Right. So, so what are the lines? Uh, the lines are going to be. I think the lines are going to be, the far left versus everybody else. You know. 
That's what I think. Okay. And in my opinion, the far left is is that is that Antifa? Yeah, yeah. The in in from what I've seen, the far left is mostly white, <laughs> Mid- middle class and white. Probably middle upper class. Pro- probably or upper middle class. Yeah. So it's just my when when the civil war breaks out, I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be. It'll probably be the extreme left, which is middle class and white versus the extreme right, which is upper middle class and white. No, 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 it won't be. I think that's where you're wrong. I think you're right. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you, you can only have one. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm playing all, I'm covering all the bases. I'm playing all the sides of the fence. All right. Um, I think you're right in that the main, the attacking group mm-hmm. is going to be the far left. Yes. But I don't think it'll be against the far right. I think it'll be against starting on like us. Yeah. Because I, I think we are both. Well, actually, I'm more right leaning. You're more left leaning. But but I think that I'm center left and you're center right. I think that's how it falls. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. But just us talking like what we just did yeah. is enough to. Oh yeah, we're we're like angry. Yeah, exactly. We're we're targets. You know what I mean? If if they knew or whatever, when they start attacking people, don't tell them. <laughs> Shh. The problem is, is that what's I? This is how I see it playing out. The far left, mostly white, mostly well off, are going to start attacking people that are not really all that right wing, and then the right wing is going to retaliate because they see white people being attacked so it's going to come down to a race thing against white people oh, that, it's going to be white people that don't like black people versus white people <laughs> that think they're defending black people and i th- I'm, I'm i'm serious i think all of the black people are just going to stand back and let all the white people kill each other <laughs> that's fucking funny i mean am i wrong <laughs> Get a load of these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, because when you look at the far left, like all the anti-racist act, I mean, they're almost always white. That's fucked up. <laughs> all right. I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Let, I'm going <laughs> to shuffle knows. this around because it kind of fits in here. The the Liam Neeson thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I. I, you suppose everybody already knows about it? Oh, I'm and... sure. Anybody that has Twitter knows all about it. Twitter is like... You know, yeah, but not everybody that listens listens to Twitter. All right, so uh, Liam Neeson. Uh, what was he in? Like What's all 12 movie? of the Taken movies? All yeah, kids, Taken. All 12 of his kids got taken? Um, <laughs> so he was interviewing... He was in an interview for a new movie he's got coming out. And... During the interview with the Independent, the 66-year-old actor recalled a family member being raped many years ago and how primal he felt following the assault. She handled the situation of the rape in the most extraordinary way, Neeson said. But my immediate reaction was, I asked, did she know who it was? No. What color were they? She said it was a black person. Neeson then described waiting outside of pubs with a kosh, hoping a black bastard would spark an altercation. I went up and down areas with a kosh, hoping I'd be approached by somebody. I'm ashamed to say that, and I did it for maybe a week, hoping some, in air quotes, black bastard, would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know, so that I could kill him, he continued. It took me a week, maybe a week and a half, to go through that. Uh, She would say, where are you going? And I would say, I'm just going out for a walk, you know, what's wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. All right, um... I guess this next paragraph is probably pretty important. Um, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. When I think back that I did that, and I've never admitted that, and I'm saying it to a journalist, God forbid, Neeson said, it's awful. But I did learn a lesson from it when I eventually thought, what the fuck are you doing, you know? All right. So he said that. Mm-hmm. Then what happened? Everybody was like, oh, man, at least he learned from it. <clears throat> At least he learned from this horrible, horrible thing. Am I right? right. Yeah. So what's the next story? <laughs> so, of course, that's not what happened. 
of course, everybody wants to cancel Liam Neeson. Like he's, you know, just a TV show that you can cancel. doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> he's a racist. And, you know, this happened. I, I don't know if the, the dates are in that story or not, but didn't this happen like 40 years ago? No, it would just happen. No, 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 no. <laughs> when he was, uh, you know, looking for somebody to kill. No, no, he he was just looking for somebody to kill as he was walking into this interview. <laughs> <laughs> he sat down and asked the interviewer, you seen any black bastards?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like twenty five years ago that whoever he knows got raped, and he got upset about it. Yeah, so. I, d- I don't understand how this works. Like, uh, he, I, I don't, first of all, I don't think that celebrities are supposed to talk like normal people and show that they actually are normal people that have normal emotions. That's the first mistake that he made. Because once you, once you let on that you're a normal person and not just a, a, a persona, <laughs> you know, um, if bad things happen to you, people react out of emotion. I mean, your, your emotions take over that shit can destroy some people. And that's what, I mean, that's what happened, but <sighs> that, that's all you got. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what else you want. You're, you're not adding, you're not adding anything. So I didn't know. <clears throat> Are you really going to come at me with that about not adding anything? <laughs> Well, I was kind of rambling, and you were just sitting there, and then you yeah, said, "That's all was, you got." <laughs> yeah, I was trying to prod you on to get you to keep babbling. Oh, okay. if I if I'm sorry to get you to keep talking. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah. if if I could get you trained to just talk, and I can just sit here, <laughs> I still get half the half the Patreon money, and I don't have to do shit. <laughs> oh shit! All right, so so the whole point of it is that um, it's like everybody's. Telling, saying that he should get his Oscars re- redacted. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? <laughs> yeah, they, they will actually send black people to his house and, and repo uh, his little gold lawn jockey. <laughs> um, they canceled the premiere of his movie. Yeah, it, it's 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 absurd. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100. percent it is the dumbest thing. I mean, the literally no outrage, so they had to manufacture it, and it it, it looks like cheap Chinese manufactured outrage. <laughs> <laughs> you get it on wish dot com, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you if you do want to get yourself some uh, cheap Chinese outrage, head over to wish dot com. <laughs> check use a promo code the vanished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see how that works out for you. <laughs> Um. Yeah, you know, I I had this whole thing in my head about what I wanted to talk about with this, and all right, go. I got nothing, man. <laughs> nothing. No, it, it it's for some reason when we start talking on here, I I I just I don't know. Fuck it, I'm tired. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> uh, uh, so if you want to donate to our Patreon to get more of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is we're putting effort into this one. Uh-huh. Um, what the fuck did we? There was something we were going to talk about. No, no we're talking about Liam Neeson. You got nothing? Like oh, literally nothing? Nothing to add? Uh, Liam Neeson. <laughs> no, I, I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. Uh, fuck that black bastard. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm just frustrated, man. My fucking cords are everywhere. My headphones are all jacked. Do you need to take a break? <laughs> like for what? Uh, two months? Yeah, six months, eight months. I did just think of something that I can do here. All right. Are you ready? Oh, I'm definitely ready. All right, let's let's start over. All right. So, Liam Neeson. Uh huh. All right. All right. Um. I'm going to do this, and I'm only going to do this once. Okay. I'm trying to save my daughter. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Fuck, man. I don't even want to put this piece of shit out. No, we're good. Everything's good. All right. Carry on, then. Best show ever. (laughs)
<laughs> Liam Neeson, black, uh, black lash, black lash. Hey, I think I just coined a word. I think you did too. The worst black part lash. is that everybody complaining about it is white, right? I, I think th- that's what we're calling this episode, black lash. I'm okay with that. I think that being offended on behalf of somebody else should be against the law. Hmm. I wonder. I'm, I was just debating on if I wanted to explore that or not. If there's anything wrong with being offended for anybody else. Oh, of course there is, because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Be, being offended by anything anybody says is stupid. I don't. I mean, there's a time and place for offense. If somebody says something offensive, I get yeah, it. Yeah, if you own cows, ah, <laughs> get it. Nope. Time and place for offense. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> All right. So You're... I think we've moved past. So we, we've we've used offense so much that it's like, who cares anymore? You know what I mean? So when is a good time for somebody to be offended? None now. I'm talking about like 20 years ago, you could have been offended. It's too late now. No, no. So if you, uh, if somebody goes on TV and like, does a commercial celebrating retards like or, or making fun of retards? You know what I mean? Cele- <laughs> celebrating. It, yay! Yay, retards! So if they if they go on TV and, and, and make fun of retards and you got a retarded kid and like they put those commercials like on kid shows, <laughs> that would be kind of offensive. You know what I mean? It, there's a huge difference between like or if they went on TV and like they did some of those old like old timey um, shows where the the white people dressed up like black people and did ma- like made fun of black people and they put those on TV at you know on on BET on the, on the middle of the middle of their lineup or what I mean that that's offensive but like Liam Neeson saying he wanted to beat somebody up because he was emotional fucking twenty five years ago that's not offensive there's nothing yeah, offensive I, I about disagree that. with you all right I, dis- I disagree with you all right go ahead oh that's all you don't have a, a reason or anything. No, I just disagree that, like what what you said, uh, you play one of them old shows. I th- here's what I think. I think that if there was a, a bunch of black people watching BET in the middle of the day, uh-huh. and somebody took over their their pir- started you know pirates pirated their airwaves and uh-huh. started playing old blackface movies. Yeah, I think they'd just change the channel and move on with their fucking life. I don't think that they would take to the streets. You don't think so? No, but. But that's not what we're talking about. Do you think it's offensive, though? No. So it's perfectly no. acceptable. So is there another word that it is? Uh, uh, bad taste. Okay, so then what's offensive, then? I don't know. I That's what I mean. I, it's, I know what it means when people say that offends me. Yeah. It, it means I don't care. <laughs> but... I do believe that there are lots of things that are in bad taste. I think a lot of the things that we try to joke about are in bad taste. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, but not offensive. You don't think, I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means to be offended. I can't think of anything. So like I just did the opposite. Okay. So if I'm watching white ET or whatever the fuck white people channel is (laughs) and and there's a black guy that comes on and he's painted white and he starts making fun of white people. I'd be like, it's, it'd probably be funny, actually. But <laughs> Like white chicks. You ever seen that movie? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yeah. So if white chicks came on, would I be offended? No. No. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with you. There's not a whole lot that offends me. I mean, <laughs> I get on here and talk about Bernie all the time. I, what, I mean, what are you going to do? But, you know? the, the only reason you do that is to try to make light of a, a dark, crispy situation. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> oh. Offended definition. Oh. <laughs> Resentful or annoyed, typically as a result of a perceived insult. Okay, so so I've been annoyed a lot of times. <laughs> oh fuck! I've been <laughs> I've been offended fifteen times since we started recording tonight. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so, I mean, that's all right. You can be resentful. Oh, yes. Okay, so I guess I have been offended. All right. Resentful or annoyed, typically as a result of a perceived insult. Yeah. But the, the I don't think the problem is offense. The problem is 
I'm offended and somebody has to pay with their career, with their life, with their something. You know, somebody had I have to have revenge to to quench my fucking thirst for being offended. Here's a different definition. All right. To cause a person or group to feel hurt, angry, or upset by something said or done. Hurt, uh, angry, or upset. That's yeah, pretty so broad. I... <laughs> hmm. Watch this. Let, let, let's see if I can offend you. All right. <laughs> I don't believe that Bernie will be around for another six months. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> it's not offensive. <laughs> Three months if I got anything to do about it. <laughs> It doesn't even matter what what it is. I just walk by and unplug shit from the wall, and that's the one that does the trick. Yeah. Did you die yet? <laughs> Whenever he takes his, his mask off from his oxygen, you go light a cigarette. I don't shoot even that smoke. Little, shoot that fucker like a little black crispy rocket. See, I'm offended. <laughs> All right. I don't know, man. I got nothing. <laughs> All right. Shoot your shoot your son off like a rocket. <laughs> That's offensive. Krista McAuliffe. That was the. Uh, I don't. I don't know what that means. That was a teacher that turned into a little black crispy rocket from the Challenger. Oh. All right. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking history show. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you fully appreciate the amount of knowledge that is in my head waiting to come out. I. I agree. <laughs> I don't. Appre- can, I don't appreciate it at all. <laughs> you can ask me a question about anything, and I will give you an answer. <laughs> so, okay, anybody can say that, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what what. Did Krista McAuliffe have for breakfast the day she blew up in the Apollo, whatever you said? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what you fucking said. <laughs> no, no. Hold on. <laughs> what did Krista McAuliffe eat for breakfast the day she blew Apollo Creed? <laughs> Damn it, why did I think of that? <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, we're stopping this recording, and I'm editing that because I want to say that. <laughs> That's my joke now. I stole it. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, breakfast burritos. <laughs> All right, perfect. You really are smart. <laughs> Give me another one. Fuck it. Trivia night. Tri- Let's do this. <laughs> Trivia night. Oh my god. What who was the forty third president? Uh that was what what number are we on now? So <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you that because I don't know. Okay, Trump. And then before that was Obama. And then before that was Obama again. And then before <laughs> Doesn't that matter, was... you know. <laughs> I guess it was Bush. Ten points, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's is that right. <laughs> I don't know if it's right or not. What are we on? on four, we on 45? 46. I was right. Hey, all right. <laughs> look how look how smart I am. I can tell you who the president was two people ago. <laughs> You're a fucking genius. <sighs> all right. What time was trick or treating in New York City? In 2018. What the fuck are you talking about? It's always from dust till nope. It's always from <laughs> it's always from five till seven p.m. Okay. Ten points. <laughs> I don't, sure. We'll go with that. I, I don't fucking know. How the fuck would I know that? If these questions are easy. <laughs> you just get them right every time. All right. How, how many calories are in a 12 ounce can of Mountain Dew? 420. Jesus Christ, are you serious? <laughs> That's a lot. I thought it was like 300, Next 360. Next question. Am I right? Or are you, Next I mean, question. Are you right? Next question. Um, how many of those calories are fat calories? Uh, 27. All right. 
Um, I, I got nothing. How, I don't know. You ask me a question. See if I know. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got no fucking questions. All right. What am I typing? <laughs> <laughs> is this trivia? <laughs> Um, it, is it pi squared? <laughs> all right. Ready? Uh, I, I'm ready. What, what, what are we ready for? How many times can you subtract the number five from 25? Five minus 25. So one, so four. <laughs> no, wait, once. Wait, no, once. Just one time. Just one time. Cause then it's not 25 anymore. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. A farmer had 752 sheep and took one shot that got them all. Pregnant? That's stupid. That's stupid. I'm not even. All right. What is the easiest way to throw a ball, have it stop, and completely reverse direction after, after traveling a short distance? I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> <laughs> not familiar with that one. Throw the ball straight up. <laughs> oh, geez. That was easy. I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know, so what's funny about these is people are going to be listening to this, and they, they know the answer, and you sound like a fucking retard. I, I'm <laughs> like 100%, I'm 100% sure that nobody's made it this far. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck it. How many calories are in a Mountain Dew? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You think you think they just bailed on that? Yeah. I hope I would hope so. All right, fuck it. I don't care. Then fuck it. We can do whatever we want. I don't care. I don't we, care. We can I'm do whatever fun. we want, anyways. <laughs> there are five oranges in a basket. All right. How will distribute the oranges to five people such that one orange is still in the basket? You you cut the oranges. I I no. don't understand. <laughs> you have to right. cut, you have to cut the oranges. No. <laughs> All right, you don't cut the oranges. <laughs> All right. It's one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> there are five oranges in a basket. All right. How can you distribute the oranges to five different people mm -hmm. and still have one orange left in the basket? Uh... So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I got nothing. Distribute one orange to each of the four people and then give the fifth orange together with the basket to the last person. Oh, Jesus. That's cheating. <laughs> Why is it cheating? Because you didn't say you could give them the basket. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say you couldn't. <laughs> oh, whatever. All right, so what's red and smells like blue paint? Uh, I don't know. Red, red paint. <laughs> I mean, I, I would, I was, yeah, you got me. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah. Are you looking at some now? No, I just that's what I tell my kids. Like at least once a week, I say that, and they make fun of me for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Imagine you are sinking. What fucking foreigner cocksucker wrote this motherfucker, man? <laughs> Imagine. Are they... Imagine you are in a sinking rowboat surrounded by sharks. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm in the right mindset. Go. <laughs> How would you survive? Uh, I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> a sinking rowboat surrounded by sharks. I would stab the guy next to me and... Throw him overboard <laughs> and fuck him right in the butt, butt fuck him right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, how would you survive? Uh, Forget it. Uh, all right. Can I can I at least get the answer? <laughs> I was gonna say I, that, that's how I know if you're into it or not. If you didn't even care enough to ask for the answer, <laughs> uh, the answer is to stop imagining. Uh, that. That's fucking cheating. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on. Cheating. I thought these were real. <laughs> if you are in a dark room with a candle, a wood stove, 
and a gas lamp, you only have one match. So what do you light first? A candle, a wood stove, and a damp cloth. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I already forgot. <laughs> A gas lamp. <laughs> a gas lamp, a candle, and a wood stove. Right. <laughs> <laughs> gas lamp, candle, and wood stove. I would light the candle first. The match. The, these are... Whatever. <laughs> That's stupid. I just like that you're getting so fucking angry. I'm not... You're just cheating. It's like this this game cheats. <laughs> you ever say that? <laughs> this a game little cheats. girl kicks a soccer ball. Fucking it goes bitch. 10 feet. What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> a little girl kicks a soccer ball. It goes 10 feet and it comes back to her. How is this possible? There's a string attached to her leg or her tampon. <laughs> <laughs> yep (laughs) yep Uh, all right (coughs) oh fuck (laughs) all right ready Mm -hmm. (laughs) A 10-foot rope ladder hangs over the side of a boat with the bottom rung on the surface of the water. The rungs are one foot apart, and Mm -hmm. the tide goes up at a rate of six inches per hour. (sighs) (laughs) Fuck you, all right? I'm already out. Fucking math. Are you kidding me? Is the answer New Zealand? (laughs) (laughs) Yep. (laughs) All right. We'll try this one. All right. A is the father of B. (laughs) Okay. But B is not the son of A. A is the father of B, but B is not the son of A. How is that possible? There's little A and big A, right? No. No? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, what, no, what? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Is one of them a butt baby? <laughs> <laughs> yes. God, you're good at this. <laughs> I really am. No, all right, what is it? Uh it was the daughter. Oh it's not what you <laughs> whatever. <laughs> this is stupid. A rooster laid an egg on top of a barn roof. Which way did it roll? Down. To the left or to the right? To, to the right. Roosters don't lay eggs. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, down could have been just as good of an answer then. (laughs) I know. I just wanted to keep fucking with you. (laughs) An electric train is moving north at 100 miles an hour. And wind is blowing to the west at 10 miles an hour. Which way does the smoke blow? There's no smoke on an electric train. Ha! Got one! (laughs) How can a man go eight days without sleep? A man go eight days without sleep. He can't. Can he? <laughs> does, does it say that he can? Is that, is that part of the equation? <laughs> if he's a woman, it's it's his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's got a ball on, on his tampon string. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. The answer is he sleeps during the day, the nighttime. Oh, that's gay. I mean, that's not cool. (laughs) How much dirt is there in a hole three feet deep, six feet long, and four feet wide? None. Correct. Yes. Getting better. (laughs) I just about read you the answer. (laughs) The different one. The egg won't crack the concrete floor. All right, go. I didn't hear it. What's the question? Will the egg crack the concrete floor? (laughs) All right. If a doctor gives you three pills and tells you to take one pill every half hour, how long would it take before all the pills have been taken? If a doctor gives you three pills 
one pill every half hour. So it would be an hour and a half. You are wrong, sir. Uh, what do we got? It'd be an hour. Why? Because you, like, you take one at noon. Yeah. Then you take one at noon thirty. Yeah. Then you take one at one. Uh. <laughs> uh. You would think I'd learned by now that these are cheating questions. That's that's really not. I mean, that's just fucking grade school math. Yeah, I know cheating. <laughs> I never learned grade school math. <laughs> All right. So you, you just have to think. Yeah, that's the problem. No, you, it's not that it's it's not that they're cheating questions. It's they're they're so common knowledge that you're trying to overthink it. Hmm. it so like the math isn't that hard. Try this one. If it took eight men 10 hours to build a wall, how long would it take four men to build it? Eight men 10 hours. Yeah. Four men to um, 20 hours? No, uh, it's already built. That's not even a math question then. <laughs> You're right. That's what's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. If you're, if there are, I think there's like 400 of these. So oh, I don't know. It's going to be a while. <laughs> <laughs> if there are six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? There are six apples, and you take away four. How many do you have? Two. Why am I wrong? Oh, you took. <laughs> you took four. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, that's dead. Now that's <laughs> cheating. Come on, you can't tell me that's not cheating. That's like misdirection. Like you're a fucking magician. Sha sha. <laughs> Sashay away. <laughs> right. All right. What? That's stupid. <laughs> They're all stupid. <laughs> if you throw a red stone into the blue sea, what will it become? Nothing. A stone, a red stone, it won't become anything. Thrown? <laughs> Wet. Oh, that's dumb. I'll try to pick a better one. If there are 12 fish and half of them drown, how many are there? Fish can't drown. All right. You got one right. Woohoo! How many times can you subtract 10 from 100? Once. <clears throat> you already did that one. I, I know, but I just wanted to think. I just picked up a list somewhere along the way. <laughs> <laughs> right when, right turn, when the cock went in your butthole. <laughs> just turned into Mike Tyson. <laughs> See, this is fucking stupid. Now they're just, they're reaching. <laughs> now they're, now they're reaching. All right. Well, I guess we'll, that's it. We're not doing any more of them. Okay. Oh, fuck. How long have we been going? Are we done? Yep. An hour and eight minutes. Bye. Bye.